In this video, we'll be looking into construction of PDA using the empty stack method. So this is the fifth example. So the problem statement says to design a PDA for the given language by using empty stack method. So my first step would be to design a CFG for the given language. So let me write the language again. So L is equal to n of a w is equal to n b of w where n should be greater than or equal to 0. So here the total number of elements of a and b should be equal on both the sides. So here the sequence is not important. Okay, we could write it as as n is greater than or equal to 0. So when it's 0, we could write it as empty string or A followed by any number of A's and B followed by any number of B's or B followed by any number of B's and A followed by any number of So let me write it here. Let me write the language here. So it could be Lambda. AB could be here or BA could be there or it could be AAB or it could be BBA and anything. So it, it continues. So writing the context free grammar here. So S derives Lambda yes and it could be a followed by any number of a's and b followed by any number of b's or b followed by any number of b's and a followed by any number of a's or lambda in that case so i have explained how to design the cfg in previous videos so do watch uh, those videos to understand this in a better or efficient manner so my next step would be to design a PDA grammar from the CFG obtained. So let me design the PDAG grammar. So in order to design the PDAG grammar, I should remember its uh, sequence. So any production of the form A derives small a x, x or a or lambda is said to be a PDAG grammar where a has to be the terminal and x has to be the non-terminal. So if I start writing for this, it would be S derives lambda, yes. Then I have a terminal A followed by S. Then I, I can't write B here, small b here. So I should write capital B and S. So here capital B would derive small b. And here I would write uh, B, S, capital A and S. So here A deriving small a. So this is the grammar which I have obtained so here it's S B S capital A S so this is the PDA grammar which I have obtained my next step is to de uh, define the transition functions for the productions of PDA of the PDA G so let me write the uh, productions one by one. S derives lambda. Then I have S derives. Uh, then I have S derives A S B S. Then I have S derives B S A S. Then I have A derives A and B derives B. So if I write the transition functions for this. So we need to remember that in case of empty stack method it would be in the same state so here i have written the state followed by the here i should consider whatever is there on top of stack so i have s here so here also s here also s here a and here b and here whatever is there in the input string the first first whatever is there in the input string let me write that so here i'll write lambda here a here B, here A and here B. So that's how you define the transition function. So this could be defined as, so as I've told, um, we would be in the same state. So Q here followed by whatever is left, left in the input string. So excluding this first uh, line, whatever is there, there's nothing here. So let me put lambda here. Here I have SBS. So I'll write SBS. Here I have SAS. 
here there is nothing after a so I will put lambda, here there is nothing after b so I will put lambda. So here I have defined the transition functions for the given PDAG. My next step is, the fourth step is to define the PDA. So to define the PDA, I know P is equal to Q comma sigma comma tau transition function Q naught, Z naught and F where Q uh, comprises of the states. So here I have made use of only one state. So it would be the same start state and final state also. And then the alphabets I have used here are uh, A's and B's, right? And then the tau, here the states which I have considered are S, A and B. And here the start state taken is S and transition function is defined in step 3. So I am done with defining the PDA. Uh, yes, so I am done with defining the PDA, so that's it. So I hope you have understood how to design a PDA for the given language. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel.